This was an interesting case of a woman who claimed to be blind in one state. Now imagine that. You're physically able to see and then keep your eyes open and try to not see, right? It's almost, it's impossible. However, she claimed to not see and all these tests they gave her of um, her optics looked as if she was blind in this state and then we gave, they gave her a test where they did this flashing checkerboard image and measured her uh, brain activation in the primary visual cortex, which is where the visual information goes right away. It's really early on in the processing. And what they found is in the sighted state, she got a very distinct EEG activation to the flashing checkerboard. But in the state she said she was blind, she didn't. She had a flatline V1, we call it, primary visual cortex, which is very difficult to explain, which means the suppression had to occur very early on in the visual process at the level perhaps of the thalamus. Um, we wanted to explore further, but then she, she got better, so that was good for her, <laughs> but <laughs> not for the science. Um, and, but what's interesting is that a lot, and, you know, and, I, and I taught I, um, a while back in Switzerland, and I remember talking about this case, and there were people who were just like, well, that doesn't even exist, that disorder. And, you know, the thing I think that's interesting about uncovering things with neuroscience is that it gives you some kind of tangible evidence. So the, these people are reporting these symptoms, but 